super duper awesome Mr. K Pops. Welcome back. So, in this lesson, we're going to talk about naming words. Naming words. We call them nouns. Yeah, we call them nouns. Now, let's look into the lesson. First, you you do this task for me, naming task. So try to say the name of each picture as I show you. This. Ah, there are two things you can see. A cat and a bottle. And a bottle. Good. How about this? Chair. Great. Ah, got it. How about this one? It's a pig. Pig. How about this? It's a mom, or we can say she's a mom, or she's a woman, woman. How about this? How many things can you see? Girl? Oh, we can call her Sally. And she's wearing, she's wearing a beautiful dress. She has flowers there also dress that's right oh my goodness this looks like a place where you buy and sell some something it's a market oh i know you love this place it's a playground it's a playground okay so a noun is a naming word a noun names person like Ben animal like a zebra place like your house or the market we saw and theme a book is a theme now some nouns name people or persons People are present, and some nouns also name places. Places. So look at this. Dad cooks well. Now, dad is the person here. What you saying? And <laughs> and talks too much. And talks too much. So and is the noun that shows person now let's read the short story and then we shall identify the nouns that name persons <clears throat> Sam is going to be six on Sunday Sam one I mean dad wants Sam to have a big party mom would take the cake Adele we plan the party Sam will call his friends. The teacher will also be there. Let's read it again. Sam is going to be six on Sunday. Dad wants Sam to have a big party. Mom will make the cake. Adele will plan the party. Sam will call his friends. The teacher will also be there. Yeah, I'd love to be on your birthday. I'd love to be at your birthday party. Would you invite me? Now, so some nouns name persons. I need you to pause the video here on this story and point out the nouns that name persons. So I'm not going to underline for you, I'm just going to say them. Sam names person, dad, mom. Adele and uh, yeah, Sam. Friends, friends are people also. And teacher. Good job. How many were you able to get? <clears throat> so some nouns name people. Like this, my house is big. My house is big. So the house is the name is the noun that the names the name of the place. 
the kids play in the pool so inside the pool is a noun that shows a place the frog is in the pond the pond is a place So Sam writes at home. So home is the place. Mr. John is from Nigeria, from a place, a place called Nigeria. So here are places in the house. Tell the name of each place shown in the pictures. Let's go. What's this place? There's a bed. There's a bed there. What do you think? What's the video? Yeah, bedroom. What's the video? Where's his place? This is a study room. Oh. You can see you pack your car in there. In there. That's a garage. It's a kitchen. Now underline the noun that names person and circle the noun that names place. Three boys are playing on the field. So what I'm going to do here. Pause the video and find out. Three boys are playing on the field. So the instruction is, let's go over the game. On the line the noun that names a person and then circle the noun that names place. So persons, voice, and place field. All right. Remember, a noun is a naming word. A noun names person. Animals. Place. And that's like a marker to your house. And thing, a book. So we can identify nouns that name persons and places. Thank you. I'm super duper awesome, Mr. Gay Pops. Thank you for always learning i'm so i super love it when you join my smarty pan smarty class thank you bye bye